Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to episode 4 on the Fortress server. Now, since we left off, there have been many, many things happening and uh, it turns out that I was the first to be pranked. I was talking about how I should be pranking other people in this server and it turns out I was the first victim because if we just go in our house really quick, Frosty has died. <laughs> Why? Fuzzy is dying and he's been re reincarnated as this fat blob. What is this dude? What is this? Look at him. Look at him. Look at those eyes. They're lifeless and his arms. I don't know what's going on, man. Just... What? <laughs> yeah. I knew you for two episodes, buddy, but you were my favorite snowman in the whole world. God damn it. Anyways, it turns out I actually managed to log on at kind of the wrong time at one point before uh, because Vinny and uh, Daniel were in the process of pranking me. So I logged in at the wrong time and uh, as a result, Daniel kind of killed me. So that's why I've got a death count on there. The uh, number one being the death count, of course. We have a death count system on this server. The number one being that. So that is all good right there. But uh, Moodle Mage... Felt quite bad about killing me, so what he did is he set this up down here. Now, what this is, this is, if we just go around here, Snow Machine 2.0. R.A.P. Frosty. So, I'm not entirely sure what the circumstances of being, him being killed were, but I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, as you can see, if we just go over really quick, from Moon Moon Mage to Python, it is a snow machine. So, basically, what you do is you use some of these shovels, and some of them have been renamed. Let's just have a look really quick. I'm sorry, like a lot, won't do it again. Will you accept my apology from Moon Moon Mage? Yes, of course I accept it. You gave me 10 shovels, and well, I don't have any freaking iron, so that's great. So, the point of this is you stand on this pressure plate, and all of the uh, snow golems get pushed into one corner, and for some reason, that means that snow is formed in this block here. Instead of just in there, it also seems to form it here. So I'm just like, wait, what? It's kind of weird, isn't it? So, you know, it's kind of infinite snow, and you don't have to stand in a weird place in order to sort of do things, if you get what I mean. So, we can make these into snow blocks, which is great. Here we go, like a soul, and like a soul. There we go, 18 snow blocks. Now, something else I've been doing since the last episode is a whole bunch of fishing. So, let's go through what I have received from doing fishing. We have four puffer fish, we have a clownfish, seven raw salmon, nine raw fish, a bowl, a bone, three pairs of leather boots, and then a- WHAT?! HOLY GUACADINGO! Yep. Yep. I actually got this from fishing. Absolutely no levels were spent obtaining these bows, and this isn't the only awesome bow we have. This one was also caught, so we have a power 4 infinity 1 bow from fishing, and we have a power 4 punch 2 flame 1 unbreaking 3 bow from fishing. What kind of luck is that?! That's insane! It just is! And the bow that I actually had, and I enchanted and sort of combined with other ones to uh, get this one, is this! We got Unbreaking 1 Power 1, this was not from fishing. I had a bow with Unbreaking, and I had a bow with Power, so I just combined the two, which is why I've got this. But seriously, look at these two! If we combine these two together, we could have Power 5, Punch 2, Flame 1, Infinity 1, and Unbreaking 3. Dude, that, that is, that would be the god bow. You literally could not get a more powerful bow than that if we combine these two together. But, I'm pretty sure it would be too expensive to combine at this stage in time. So, uh, I don't know, maybe the 1.8 update will sort that and we can update these two. Or, more to the point, merge them. But, uh, you know, for now, we're just going to stick with what we got. So, also, what I've been doing since the last episode is a little bit of mining. So, you can see I've actually got myself an iron pickaxe. I've got, uh, you know, a couple bits of iron. Oh, uh, maybe not. I think I used them. <laughs> I used up the bits of iron that I had. What a dumbo. I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. Right, here we go. So, I'm going to chuck these in there. Chuck that in there. Look at this, though. That is insane. Do you know what? I actually want to keep these on me, just in case someone tries to steal them. <laughs> if you get what I mean. Right, we also have an anvil, and some of the things we managed to get from the caves off camera were two diamond horse armor, one iron horse armor, and a saddle. So we can go ahead and find ourselves a horse, and we can go ahead and bring it back here, which is fantastic. And a music just disc? What? A music disc just for the hell of it, because, you know, it's all good. Right, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and uh, combine these. There we go. One pair of leather boots. I feel pretty good about that. There we go. This is almost completely full. We really need to organize our chest, don't we? Holy goddamn. Right, there we go. Oh, we got so much stuff, it's ridiculous. Right. So, you may be wondering, what the hell are you going to be doing in this episode? So, first of all, you know, 
Snowman's dead. We've got the new snow machine, so that's all pretty cool. Uh, I've actually gone ahead and finished off the house, which is pretty damn awesome as well. So what I would like to do is, you may notice if we just sort of sort of hang off the edge here like you do. I've actually started constructing some supports for this bridge because there's no point in it just being a floating bridge because let's be honest, that would look a bit silly. So I am in the process of creating some supports for this bridge. And what it will involve is a lot of cobblestone. A lot of cobblestone. So, you know, one of the things that I will probably wind up doing is making a cobblestone generator. Because, let's be honest, it's a pretty good way of getting cobblestone really quickly without having to go mining or destroying the landscape or something. You know, so it's a pretty good way of doing things in my opinion. And as a result, it is what I'm going to go with. And also, what I'd like to do is, if we just go back down to the snow building really quick, what I would like to do is... You can see the sort of pathway here and it leads straight onto the pressure plate. What I would like to do is expand this building, make it come out to these fences right here so we don't have like a gap here. And sort of the entrance will be here, it goes straight onto the pressure pad and then we'll have sort of the building come over here a little bit just to sort of take up this rock formation here. You know, just, just to expand it out a little bit and it should basically this path would lead straight to this building, you know, it would be pretty cool. So yeah, that's something I want to do. Right. And also, eventually what I want to do is I want to plant a bunch of 2x2 two two spruce trees up there because that is already at sky limit, 128 blocks high. I mean, can you imagine how high the blooming spruce trees would go? That'd be insane. It just would be. It's... It, oh. Spruce trees are pretty damn insane on this uh, on this version of Minecraft. 2.2 two spruce trees are awesome. Right, okay, so. Uh, it appears he's used birch wood over there, so we need to try and match it. Right, here we go. So we've got a bunch of this stuff. I'm not entirely sure what else he's done. So we've got some glass, which I guess is cool. We've got some spruce wood. Right. I guess without further ado, it is time to see what we can do with this building. Don't worry, Daniel. I won't break the design or the redstone because I probably won't even know how to fix it anyway. So uh, <laughs> what would be the point in that? Right. I'm just going to alter it slightly so, you know, it kind of fits the whole place if you get what I mean, buddy. Oh, man. I appreciate the gesture. I, I do. <laughs> it's really damn cool. It's a good way of getting snow. Right, okay. Crap it. Why you go there? Why you do this? Why you do this? You suck. Why you do this? Right, here we go. Right. Okay. Now, as you know, I'm not entirely good at building on camera because my OCD tends to uh, grab hold and I mean, make me go mad. So uh, what I'm going to do is I am likely going to go ahead and do a bunch of this off camera so you guys don't have to watch me rage at my OCD. And as a result, I shall see you guys in a minute. Alrighty guys, as you can see, everything looks a little bit nicer now if we just go outside really quick. Oh baby, it's such a nice little house now. As you can see, as I was saying, I wanted the path to go straight into the house and it does indeed. Which is really damn nice because it means the space is now completely filled up. And this place up here is actually half slab so no mobs or snow will be able to form on top of it. But also that means I can't put torches, which isn't too bad I guess, but... Uh, would be nice, but if we just go inside really quick, I've actually moved the pressure plate along one because uh, the reason why I had to do that is because it was here, you know, diagonal to that. And the reason I moved it is because it was also activating the door, meaning the door would be open every time I stood on this. So, you know, any creepers that decided to come up would come ahead and blow my ass up. So, all of the shovels are now in here, and what will probably happen is I'll probably put all the snow blocks in here. So, you know, it's it's pretty damn nice. And obviously we have nice views all over the place as well. Well, actually, that's not strictly a nice view. That's just craggy rock. Blech. Blech. That's disgusting. But that's a pretty nice view, isn't it? You know, just two completely different temperatures. <laughs> Look at this. Really cold Arctic view, and then really nice summery view. Yay! <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, Mimi Mage, Daniel, thanks for that, buddy. I appreciate that. Don't worry. Apology accepted. That's really damn cool, actually, man. I appreciate that. Right. So, oh, what? What the hell? Oh, man. Have there been Endermen up here? Blooming Endermen stealing my damn blocks again. God damn it. They blooming broke my front yard for my blooming storage house. What a piece of poop. Right, okay. Let's go ahead and fill that up. Oh, yeah, I did have some iron left. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Right, okay. Back to the storage room because Bloomin' Enderman destroyed my front yard, which is kind of suckish because, you know, I kind of like it. I kind of like my storage yard. 
There we go. Let's just uh, clear out the snow, something we have to do every so often. So, as I was saying before, what I will eventually do is get a silk touch shovel or something just to get grass blocks. And then we're going to put the grass blocks here with maybe a torch or glowstone or something. And make it look nice, you know, just put some flowers down or something. It's going to look real good. Right, okay, so what have we got in here? We have weapons. I want to keep these two on me, so... Yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep them on me, cause uh, if I if someone gets it, then uh, they're gonna be OP as hell. I don't want that to happen, dude. I don't want people to be OP as hell. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Okay. Something else I was mentioning I wanted to do is make a cobblestone generator, and I will attempt to do that on camera because I'm pretty sure I've done it before. Uh, maybe not on camera, but maybe in a live stream. I'm pretty sure I did it. Right, okay, so let's just uh, chuck a bunch of stuff away because we really don't need everything that we have on us right now. Right, okay. I don't have a lot of space to blimmin' stack things up. I need to move things around. I'm going to have to do that off camera. You know, organising inventory like you do because it's kind of what you have to do anyway. Right. What other blocks could we use for a cobblestone generator? We can't obviously use wood because that'll catch fire. Snow... I don't know, honestly. We can have glass so we can see all the sort of innards, if you will. Right, I do have a lava bucket, luckily, so that's all good. Right, and we have two buckets from the dungeon that we found. It was a spider dungeon, so it wasn't too useful. I was, it was actually coming off the ravine that we found in the last episode, so it was it was a pretty, pretty convenient location, but uh, not very useful because it's a spider dungeon. So, yes. Right, here we go. I want all the things. There we go. Right, the question is, where the hell should we put the cobblestone generator? I want it to be relatively near to everything else. Hmm. I don't know, man. It's just, there's like a weird sort of platform here. I don't know, we could make something down there. Actually, no, that'd be a stupid place to put up, wouldn't it? Right. Hmm. Where to put a cobblestone generator? I mean, this is kind of like the industrial area, if you will. Because we've got storage, we have... Farms, or, or more to the point, this could be like agriculture, I don't know, farms, and snow blocks. Hmm. 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 Where should we do this thing? I got no idea. Maybe I can make like a pathway coming off here, and you can go downstairs or something. I don't know, I kind of want everything to be visible, but then, I don't know man. Guys, where should we put it? Where should we put this thing? I got no idea. I got no idea. Uh, maybe we should put it over here. Do you know? What? Do you know? What? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna. We're gonna make it come off here. Okay. It's gonna go that. Wait. Is that gonna? Hmm. Pretty sure it's gonna break the snow block right there. Uh, that's not what I want to happen. Right. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let us go ahead and extend this snow block pathway over that way so let's just go grab some snow blocks really quick and maybe snow covers we might need them and then we're gonna make our cobblestone generator like a boss all right so snow blocks like so and snow covers just in case okay good stuff good stuff we've got plenty of crafting tables near that area so we should be okay for now right, there we go we're running out of hunger as well god damn it so hungry all the time it's ridiculous Right, here we go. So what we're going to do is place some snow blocks right here, and then maybe a door, and then it'll go downstairs or something. Right, here we go, like so. Boom, boom. Or what we could actually do is make a... Uh, is do this, maybe? I don't know, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, there we go. And then this could be like a door, okay? This could be a door. Or more to the point, there would be a door. Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. So, if I break that, is it going to break anything else? Is it going to break anything else? I don't think it will. Will it? I don't know! I don't know how snow mechanics work. It's so rare that I work with snow. It's just like, ah, oh, come on, dude. Like, really, I didn't bring enough wood down with me. Ooh, I'm so disorganized! This isn't good. This is not a good thing. Right. Right, wood blocks. Wood blocks. And a door. That's, that's not a door shape, is it? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm chucking everything now! Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I'm so stupid. I'm chucking everything away and making mistakes. This isn't good, people. Not good at all. Right. Okay, so as I was saying, a door would go here. Right, okay. Yep, I can work with this. 
And then if we just turn a corner, that's going to be snow. So what I could do is if I just go in there really quick and make some stairs. Okay. Just some regular stairs. Like so. We could make it sort of turn a corner if we really wanted to. So here we go. So if we just do this. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't see why this shouldn't work. We could just make it go down. Ooh, going into the blooming underside of my snow village. Oh my god, this looks ridiculous. <laughs> Look at it, dude. It's like really concealed away. Like if you stood here, it would be pretty difficult to see. But then again, that's there. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. doesn't matter too much anyway. Right, we're going to make it go down one more block. Okay, one more block. And then the cobblestone generator will be around here. Okay. All right, let's dig out a room really quick. I'm using my iron pickaxe for this, I really shouldn't be, because iron pickaxes, for me, are pretty valuable at this point. Right, so this is going to be where the cobblestone generator is going to be. A nice little concealed place where it doesn't look like crap, basically. So, yeah. Right, here we go. Right, uh, right what design do I want to go for? That's the question. Hmm. i got a design in mind. I think it's the same one I used on my very, very old Skyblock series back in my old channel. Ah. Oh, no, actually, no, that's fine. Okay, pretty cool. I'm just, I was just thinking, you know, maybe we bump down into the town, but it's actually all right. Okay, so, let's just try and figure this out really quick. So, if we just grab the cobblestone back. So, I'm just trying to remind myself of how to do this. That is the thing that I need to do. Alrighty, guys, I've now got a design which actually works. And uh, that actually took quite a lot longer than I would have wanted it to take. And uh, I am sorry because normally I'm not that stupid, but it's pretty early in the day for me. And I'm just like, ah, oh, come on, dude. Like, really? Why didn't I figure that out before? All you got to do if you really want something good is you get, well, I mean, you could have just one water source. But just for the purposes of keeping this symmetrical, I put two water sources either side. And that all seems to work, which is great. Let me tell you. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, you know, we've got, a, we've got a working cobblestone generator now. You basically just mine this block out, and it will continuously become cobblestone, which is great. And the good thing is the water flow will continue to bring it over to uh, my place, which is right here. So we could just keep mining since out. I mean, obviously, some bits will still manage to get into the lava, but a lot of it should become... A lot of it should come into my inventory, which is great. So, I mean, yeah, that's the most basic cobblestone generator design I could really come up with. If anybody else has any other designs, then, you know, be sure to leave a comment. So that'd be great. Right, okay, if we just make ourselves a, another couple of pickaxes, like us all. There we go. Let's get stairs again. See how many we can get. Just have a, a small session. Hold on, let me just... Uh, I actually want to go ahead and do this really quick, just so we can get into the little pit real easy. Oh, yeah, let's go down the stairs again into our cobblestone generator. We could put this here, like so. And tell you what, let's just do it all the way around, like that. Okay. And then we could just continuously mine this thing out. Or we could just do that. Yeah, that seems to work. <laughs> you just stand on this block here instead, then. Yeah. Then the water flow will keep bringing it towards me, which is great. Oh, man. I mean, obviously, what I would have wanted is a, a two-way cobblestone generator where I could mine two blocks at the same time. But, I don't know. Again, if you've got any good designs or things, I don't know. Just be sure to leave a comment. That'd be great. All right. But, yeah, you see, we've got ourselves a cobblestone generator, which is fantastic. So, we no longer need to really worry about running out of cobblestone. So, that's good stuff right there. All right. Okay. Let me just uh, design this a little bit. Let's just uh, do this really quick. Replace that with cobble. There we go. Okay. Get that little bit up there with cobble as well. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, man. You can tell this is a cobblestone rim, can't you? Because, you know, it's entirely made of cobble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And obviously, because I've got glass there, we don't actually need a light source. We don't need torches or anything because we've got lava. Yeah, lava's a good source of light, isn't it? Yeah, buddy. All right. There we go. Like that. And over this side as well. There we go, and obviously we need to do the walls on that little hallway right there, so that's all good. Right, here we go, there we go, there we go. Oh man, I apologise to any of you guys who are like, Oh my god, this guy's so dumb, I'm going to unsubscribe because he's so dumb. But, uh, you know, you know what it's like in the morning. Your brain's not quite there, you yourself aren't quite there, and it's just like, Oh my god, it takes you ages to figure out even the most basic stuff. 
And that's kind of what happened with me. Sounds great. Right, okay. Almost done. Almost done. Like so. Here we go. Cobblestone generator, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty easy to make. Pretty, uh, it doesn't require that many resources either, which is always a good sign. Right, okay, and we're going to go with... What have we got here? We've got cobblestone there as well. So, yeah, cobblestone floor, I guess. Yeah, like a soul. Yeah, buddy. All right, I'm all right with this. Oh, yeah, buddy. Right, I guess on that note, though, it is time to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, and of course, if you want to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And again, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. Again, Daniel, thanks for this, buddy. I appreciate that. It looks so much cooler now. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah. That's, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys next time.